hey everyone welcome to grow Med guys so this is a video on the nerve injuries uh, from the anatomy a very high yield topic uh, which is asked frequently in the fmg so the upper limb nerves the radial the ulnar nerve the median nerve when they are damaged uh, we can see certain findings and certain muscles are affected so we'll look at all those findings along with the images now so before starting if you're new to my channel subscribe to my channel and tap the bell icon uh, so that whenever I post a video you'll get a notification uh, and also I was getting many requests to share the PDF uh, as I do not have any other platform to share the uh, PDF so soon I'll try to to share the PDF of all the videos in any platform okay so let's start the video uh, in the first image you can see that a baby is affected the brachial plexus is affected and this is called as the herb's palsy so in this you can see here the brachial plexus injury has occurred and in brachial plexus the c5 and the c6 root values are involved so the nerve which are affected in the herb's palsy uh, they will be abduction and medial rotation of the shoulder joint and at the elbow you can see the extension of the elbow here the elbow is extended and the arm uh, the radio on our joint it is pronated okay uh, so the question can be asked image based giving a uh, image and ask you to make the diagnosis or they will ask you uh, which nerve is involved in this injury or they can ask you a uh, in herbs palsy what happens to the muscles of the forearm then you need to choose the option in which there is abduction adduction medial rotation of the shoulder joint elbow extension and pronation at the radial nerve joint so as there are three things you can see here so this question can be given as a all of the following except kind of a question also so the next image winging of the scapula a very very important image and uh, this topic winging of scapula is repeated multiple times so there's no uh, point that you will not know this way image okay uh, so the winging of scapula it is due to the injury of the long thoracic nerve and the muscle which is affected due to injury of the long thoracic nerve is the serratus anterior muscle so questions can also be asked that what does the serratus anterior do the function of the serratus anterior and it causes the protraction of the scapula the next image wrist drop and this wrist drop occurs due to the injury to the radial nerve then uh, the next images the ape thumb deformity as you can see the hand is formed like a ape uh, and the next image the benediction hand as you can appreciate here the two fingers are affected uh, the two fingers are folded and two fingers are not folded okay and then the next image uh, the pointing index as you can appreciate here <coughs> the index this sign is called as the pointing index and uh, these all the three findings can be seen when there is injury to the median nerve then moving on to the next images so in the next image as you can see here there is partial claw hand and the complete claw hand and these findings are suggestive of the ulnar nerve injury as you can appreciate here in this image the first image the muscles which are supplied by the ulnar nerve they have undergone clawing and this is uh, called as a partial claw hand and when there is injury to both ulnar nerve and the median nerve you will get a finding like this the complete claw hand clawing of all the muscles of the hand and also whenever there is clump case palsy uh, the injury to the inferior trunk of the brachial plexus uh, the c8 and the t1 root values are involved at that time you can see the complete clawing of the hand then the next image uh, which is called as the saturday night or the crutch palsy in this uh, when the person when the person will put his hand on the chair like this as you can see here and uh, sit for hours together then there will be compression of the radial nerve causing wrist drop okay uh, so these were certain important images from the nerve injuries of the upper limb then next we will see certain other points related to the nerve injuries like a very famous question is the carpal tunnel syndrome and the cubital tunnel syndrome uh, so in the carpal tunnel syndrome there is involvement of the median nerve because it passes deep to the flexor retinaculum and commonly median nerve is injured in the carpal tunnel syndrome and along with that there are tendons of the muscles which passes in the carpal tunnel so also they will be involved they also will be injured when there is carpal tunnel syndrome but the questions are mainly asked on the median nerve so you should remember this 
and the cubital tunnel syndrome it occurs due to the ulnar nerve injury at the level of the elbow at the elbow level uh, when there is ulnar nerve injury then that will be called as a tunnel cubital tunnel syndrome okay so now let's see some important high yield points from which questions are asked so whenever there is fracture of the humerus some nerves are also injured because they are present in close relation with the humerus so let's look at them uh, the surgical neck of the humerus when in the surgical neck of the humerus surgical neck of the humerus there will be axillary nerve present and along with the axillary nerve the posterior circumflex humeral arteries accompanying it so image based question can be asked marking this area the surgical neck and they will ask you that which nerve is damaged when there is fracture to the surgical neck and also let's cover another important point that is the surgical neck fracture is the most common location at where the humerus fracture occurs so whenever there is axillary nerve injury you can see the loss of sensation from the lateral aspect of the arm and the deltoid muscle is paralyzed as it supplies the deltoid muscle so the action of the mu deltoid muscle is not occurring okay so these were certain points about the axillary nerve injury next the radial nerve it is present in relation to the shaft of the humerus and whenever there is humerus shaft fracture you can see the radial nerve injury and along with the radial nerve you can see the profunda brachii arteries accompanying it so image based question can be asked marking the structure and they'll ask you which nerve is present here or which nerve is involved when there is fracture of the shaft of the humerus then uh, the inability when there is radial injury you can see that inability to extend the wrist joint which is called as the wrist drop and loss of sensation from the dorsum of the lateral aspect of the hands and the finger these findings will be described in the clinical case and ask you which nerve is involved or which nerve is damaged so you need to carefully look at the points given in the question and choose the correct option okay uh, so next when there is injury or fracture to the medial epicondyle the ulnar nerve is injured and whenever the ulnar nerve is injured you can see the findings like the hypothenar muscle wasting the muscles of the little finger uh, you can see wasting in them and the loss of sensation on the little finger and the medial half of the finger ring whenever you see these findings you need to choose the answer as the ulnar nerve injury so this topic this part is a very high yield part and expecting a question in the upcoming fmg so that's it in this video guys i hope this video was useful and this video will help you in your revisions like the video subscribe to gromed and also share the video with your friends all the best for your exam guys thank you so much bye bye